I'm saying? Stay tuned, man. We're really finna go crazy with the build. You know what I'm saying? Got another one. dealership stuff let me introduce y'all to my 2021 Ford Mustang GT aka Chelsea So this car is pretty much all stock, except for the exhaust. It has an MBRP catback exhaust system on it, and uh, the windows have been tinted, but everything else is stock. I mean, it did come in the performance pack, as you can see by the wheels and by the spoiler on the back, but um, that's pretty much it, as far as like performance goes on the car. And it is the base model. I could have went premium. I really didn't want to go premium for all the other features and stuff that a premium comes with. I'm really about to do the interior the way I want it, so I really didn't want to go premium. So y'all stay tuned for what I got in store for the interior. I'm gonna make that bit hard as well. You know, so I'm gonna go crazy with it too. Y'all just stay tuned. So I did go with six P manual for the transmission. A lot of y'all probably gonna comment down below. Should have went 10 speed. I ain't really, I ain't really trying to make a race car, but I want to make a race car. But you know, I like the shift, so. So the interior, I'm just gonna add the Dyna Performance carbon fiber uh, dash kit. Then I'm gonna add a Dyna Performance carbon fiber steering wheel. Then I'm probably gonna take the seats out so I'm gonna be gutted. And I'm probably gonna add a rear seat delete kit too. And that's, that's pretty much it for the interior. I'm gonna keep it keep it basic, but you know, I gotta add the carbon because you know, I fucks with the carbon. So that's pretty much all we're gonna do for that, for the interior. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the, um, to the exterior. So let's start cosmetically. Thinking about, not sure if I should go with that 777 uh, GT500 style bumper or if I should just get like two new grillies. If I should get a new upper grilly and a new lower grilly. Um, if I get a new grilly, it'll just delete the pony. And then on the sides right here, it'll be open for more airflow. If I was to do that. If I do keep the stock bumper, probably gonna go with the Scott Drake uh, front splitter uh, with the matching side skirts and then with the matching rear splitters too. And I'm also, I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna get lower. I'm probably gonna do the E-Box Sportline uh, lowering springs. Here's a look underneath the hood. It is a stock gen 350. And uh, it's not gonna be stopped for long. We got plans. Full bolt on E85, you know how I'm coming. But um, let's go ahead and get into these future plans that I have for the car. Now for what y'all really wanna hear, what I'm gonna do engine-wide. So I'm gonna basically go with like a JLT cold air intake. Then I'm gonna go with, I don't know if I should go, BBK, Cooks, Stainless Works. I think that's how you say it, Stainless Works, Lone Tubes headers. Not sure if I should go either one of those. I don't have to change out the intake manifold since it's 18 plus, it already come with that good manifold. So as far as the tune, I'm not sure if I should go Lund or if I should go Palm Beach Dino. Y'all Coyote boys, let me know which one I should do. I mean, I heard good stuff about both. I'm just trying, I don't know. I don't know, this is new to me. So y'all let me know which one's the, the better tuner so I can get this one right, so I can get this one right. And then, Moving on to the rear, I'm gonna keep the performance pack wing, and I'm not sure if I want to tell if I want to change out these tail lights or not. I'm thinking about going euros, whether it's the clear or the smoke. Y'all comment down below which one would look better. If I do do if I do euros. I'm thinking the smoke just because of the color, since the color is kind of dark. But y'all comment down below which one y'all would like to see, whether it be smoke or if it be clear. Or let me know if I should stay away from the euros. Y'all let me know. As far as the wheels, I'm probably just gonna rock these performance pack ones to be honest. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They look, they look decent. So no need to change out and get like some hot boy wheels or anything. Probably just gonna rock those. I'm probably gonna go with a drag pack. Might go VMSs, I don't know, race stars, SVs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me answer this question that y'all might have. Why I went with a 50? So basically, I really originally I wanted a Subaru. I wanted the STI, but after like long considerations, I couldn't really. Couldn't really like find one and then reliability started to get in the back of my head and I ain't I wasn't really trying to fix a Subaru. 
Cause uh, I mean, with that one, I just would have kept it clean. Not really try to push any power or anything, but reliability, reliability, reliability. You know what I'm saying? Still making content with the three ball. Three ball not going anywhere. Just put the cans in, as y'all seen. And uh, got some other stuff in the works for that car, too. So, but basically with this one, I just got it so I can push power. And it really can be like my backup daily car. So, that's kind of why I got that one. Reliability. I mean, you really don't have any too many problems out of these cars. They can push the power. They can handle it. And it's just overall a fun car. And they're reliable. And they kind of, they're easy to work on. So, I mean, why not? Why not? Let go to a car meet. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, man. Hope y'all know we finna go crazy with the 2021 50, man. So if y'all got like any uh, any parts y'all trying to sell or anything, I'm trying to mod this thing up pretty quick. So y'all let me know some, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to cop, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever, if I don't, folks. Another thing, let me know which car I should wrap. Should I wrap the 50 or should I wrap the 3 valve? Y'all let me know some. Yeah, but um, yeah, finish just wrap it up, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying?